ask us, what are you doing? You're French, you're playing Peruvian music and you live in New York, it makes no sense. But most of the people asking those questions because they have in their head the idea that uh, to play a certain kind of music you have to be authentic, you have to be from that place. But there was never a conscious decision of, okay, I'm going to do this. So there was no, uh, should I be confident enough? Uh, am I doing it right? It never was a question of that. Habe die Ehre. Heute stellen wir euch Chicha vor. Chicha ist ein eigenes Musikgenre und hatte seinen Ursprung in den späten 60er Jahren äh, und seine Hochphase in den 70er Jahren in Peru. Jetzt finden wir in Brooklyn eine Band wieder, nämlich Chicha Libre, die diesen Sound wieder importiert und gerade ihr zweites Album Cannibalismo veröffentlicht hat. There is a multicultural element to where it's coming from. You all these, you know, crosses between North American and European rock music uh, with Andean melodies and bringing in the cumbia beat from Colombia and very similar to Brooklyn, you know, a lot of elements, a lot of things, a lot of different cultures sort of rubbing up against each other. Olivier Conan entdeckte die Musik auf einer Ferienreise in Lima, Peru. I ended up hearing chicha for the first time there from a street vendor in Lima, uh, who was selling me, you know, records I was looking for. Uh, and he said, "Oh, have you ever heard this?" Uh, it was a woman. And she said that's, uh, she called it ancient cumbias, uh, cumbias antiguas, uh, uh, that her grandmother liked or something. It was from the 70s, but, um, and I ended up buying as much as I could find, which was a lot. I came home with a lot of records. Als Sound der Unterschicht verschrien, fand Chicha in Peru außerhalb der Slums kaum Beachtung. You know, there's the 99% and the 1% that we talk about in America. In Peru, it's the 0.1%. Yet, they control everything. They control the, uh, it's essentially a, a colonial society, where the, uh, the rich people live in one neighborhood in Peru in Lima. They control media, they control the way culture is being processed and presented and, and none of those people ever took Chicha seriously until, uh, until not that long ago. It's changing that, which is, which is a good thing. Now it's being studied in universities. <laughs> Zur wachsenden Akzeptanz von Chicha in Peru hat auch Oliviers Compilation-Reihe The Roots of Chicha beigetragen. Als er sich wieder nach Lima aufmachte, wurde der selbsternannte Chicha-Botschafter dort besonders warmherzig empfangen. And on that trip I met um, Jaime Morera, who is one of the great guitar players of, uh, of Chicha. He actually is the one who coined uh, the phrase chicha to, to describe the music. He invited me to his house, I cooked a big meal for me and like talked to me for a long time and, and was very, very excited at the idea that there was somebody in, uh, in America that, that was taking the music seriously because that's, you know, it's his life work. He's been playing that music. And that, to me, that was one of the, you know, the really defining moment of, uh, of working with, uh, with chicha. 